Hello friends, welcome to Corporate Bridge. Before we start with understanding of project finance in detail, let's have a quick view at the learning objectives or the content that we are going to learn in this course briefly. The course starts with the most basic part of project finance where we'll understand about what is project finance. We will find out how project finance differs from corporate finance with respect to some specific features. We will see why project finance is important or in what situations we would opt for project finance. Then we go on to learn about the various types of project that may require project finance. We will also see the various steps that are involved in project finance or the series of activities through which project finance takes place. Next, we will learn about the structure of project finance as in we'll find out which are the various parties that are involved with their respective roles and the documents that are required in order to avail project finance. Next, we go on to estimate the various cost element of the project. Through this, we'll find out the total outlay associated with the project. After finding out the cost, we go about learning a very important part of project finance which is to conduct a thorough appraisal or conduct a feasibility check of the project. The next step would be to find out the various means of finance to undertake our project. Here we analyze the various sources of finance and then select the best possible option which gives us the highest benefit incurring the least cost. Next we conduct a detailed risk analysis to find out the various risks that our project is exposed to and also understand how we can mitigate or minimize those risks. After this, we will calculate and analyze the various ratios involved to check the financial performance of our project. Next comes the most important part of our course where we, we would be learning the project finance modeling. This will help us to understand the effect of resource constraints in our project thus leading to a more effective project decision. At the end, we would also learn how to prepare a project report, which is an essential building block for completion of a project. So friends, this was the structure of our course that we'll be looking at in our future videos.